Today I'm going to be installing a battery monitor. I've ordered a Vitron 702. So let's see what I got. Advertisements throughout. There we got it. Shunt and a monitor. Let's see what to do. Jesus, I don't want to read this. Too much. Cable to go to the unit. One for the, the hose bank, one for the starter battery. with the screws, that's great. Five hundred amp shunt. That should be more than enough in a normal uh, leisure boat. Probably would be enough with just a hundred amp. Well that's a lot smaller than I thought it would be. It's quite tiny. Let's head down under in the motor area and have a look at what we got to deal with there. Here's what I'm gonna do. This one is gonna come off, this one's gonna come off, and I'm gonna connect the new wire between these two so that there will be a single wire going out here to the shunt and a new single wire going back up to the starter. That way, all the uh, current going in and out of the, the hose bank will uh, have to go through the shunt and that should be okay shouldn't be more complicated than that all the power sources have been turned off main switch is off and uh, not connected to shore power anymore let's see if we can get this off that these batteries are still okay. They're under seven seas now. Gonna put on some insulation tape. To be paranoid, I'm gonna have a much thicker insulation on the old side. Shouldn't really matter. Strip the cable here so that I only need one cable going through here and down to the shunt. And it's gonna be connected here like this. That way I don't have a long cable going everywhere. I don't have tools to be to be cutting this and mounting on a new uh, connection. It's too thick. So it's connected up. They're back in parallel, but they're isolated away from the starter battery. Let's connect up the shunt. Here we have a battery only side and the load side. Got all the negatives connected, so now it's started connecting the positives too. Trying not to shortcut any short circuit anything here. Clean it up a little bit with some strips. Make sure that I'm not trapping in any wiring and ripping out anything. Moment of truth. Let's see if this is gonna work. Okay, let's connect it up. working 13.46 volts on the main battery of 
auxiliary 13.7 0 amps going in and out 0 watts going in and out fantastic absolutely fantastic and it shows a fully charged battery now I'm gonna go up and put on some load and I'll turn on the fridge and that's using 4.9 amps pretty bad pretty good 65 watts ah, awesome 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 we're gonna see if we can pull the cable here This was easy. Success. Fantastic. That was easy. Cable just pulled up all the way here and I think I found a place where I want to have it installed it's gonna be put here so it should come sitting like this I put on this uh, tape hopefully will prevent uh, this from uh, from uh, falling apart and making ugly cracks when uh, drilling it it's gonna be a tight squeeze on the inside lots of wires lots of stuff so I don't have much room to go on here with a drill, so I need to exercise extreme caution. I'm gonna have a go with it. Okay, I have plenty of room on the inside here. I'm not gonna make any damage. Looks like it. Perfect. Absolutely perfect. Couldn't have been better. Great stuff. 